Well, it's been hard not to be excited by atopic dermatitis in the past several years because in both a systemic and topical realm, we're now getting more and more targeted treatment options. And this comes on the heels of essentially only having broad acting immunosuppressive agents like corticosteroids available to us for many, many years prior. So I would say that the approval of Rofrolas 0.15% cream for atopic dermatitis for individuals six and up is a watershed moment for the field of atopic dermatitis in that it really hopefully is going to set a trend for more studies and more approvals that are really trying to include younger ages of kids alongside adolescents and adults when thinking about a disease state that affects millions across all these different age groups. Really exciting and very much needed in a disease state that has had a lot of really broad use of topical corticosteroids, which themselves are associated with various issues in terms of either tolerability, long-term use, or potency. So very welcome. So reflumilast as a phosphodesterase 4 inhibitor, one that has much higher binding potential as an inhibitor than perhaps we were used to seeing from previous phosphodesterase 4 inhibitors, is exciting because it really targets an adaptive immune mechanism that's important to the disease state, one that's important across age groups. So number one, it's flexibility across adults, adolescents, and kids is one big plus. Two, it's a cream. We know that a lot of the medications we use are ointments, and this is actually a highly elegantly designed cream that really has tried to eliminate many of the emulsifiers that are quite irritating along with some of the other components like propylene glycol that have been issues for other topicals in the past. So again, across age groups, and especially in our kids, the ability to deliver something that's tolerable and easy to apply in a package that delivers efficacy is very, very important. Third, the fact that this is a non-steroidal, and we can't emphasize this enough, is huge, particularly in the pediatric age group, where we know that there oftentimes can be a lot of concern about long-term use of topical corticosteroids and limitations on the potency you can really use in various parts of the body, especially for longer periods of time. Something like a topical phosphodiesterase 4 inhibitor like Bofumalast allows you to really avoid some of the consequences you don't want from use of strong topical corticosteroids chronically thinning of the skin, atrophy, loss of subcutaneous fat, prominent vasculature, even systemic absorption that can potentially result in problems that you're really not intending for with treatment. I think four, I'll say this, and this goes back to all age groups as well, really trying to step up our expectations for efficacy in the short run, but also something that's easy to use in the long run in terms of potential even intermittent use when people are under control has been something that's been lacking as well. And this is really going to be first of hopefully a number of other interesting things that happen in the topical space that shows us that this indeed is possible in the package of a non-steroidal therapy.